Just play. Welcome back. Uh, we are doing a, a mission one, uh, basically mission one of a uh, yeah. GI Joe the Dark Devil game. Uh, we are using Lady J as our uh, leader at this moment, and we will be playing solo this time. And um, so with regards to the GI Joe is that Basically, it's a deck building game. You have a set of cards, starter cards, basically, and you use those uh, specific ones to buy new ones from the set to improve your deck. And the win conditions is that you have to defeat all the missions. Basically, the, there, in, in the missions, there's like three acts, and each act has about uh, three uh, missions that you have to do. And if we ever do complete that within the time frame of the deck being decked out. If you do get decked out, that means this is, uh, you lose the game, as well as if the Cobra Battalions covers up all of the market deck, as well as if the Threat Meter ever goes up to the final one. So uh, basically, let's get started. So for solo, basically you have two turns before the end of the round. So that's why we have this counter. So there's this, so it just reminds us what needs to be done. And let's let's have this quick shuffle and let's get started. So first we draw five cards. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot the complications deck. Sorry. So what we need is get the two, sorry, one, one, one. I don't think that's it. Okay, so you also need to have ready the complication deck, which is needs to be pulled out whenever a, um, a mission requires it, right? And then we will just use that. So just quick shuffle for this. And I think we can put that somewhere maybe there. Okay, let's go. So first is uh, starter decks. This is our first turn. Uh, right now, uh, for uh, for solo and two player, you have the option to. Uh, let's say pass over a card to the next turn that might be useful. So I guess for us, we will want to put the reroll die there. Just so in order for us to, if ever we need to do that next turn. And for the cards itself, uh, this is the actual cost if you're buying it. And then this is the recruit points that is generating and then some special abilities. For example, some cards will have skills in it. So these are the skill points. For example, for this Tunnel Rat Joe, he will then contribute three dice for if you're doing with regards to explosives and then two for recon. So now we are have a buying power of three. I guess what we can do is just get the service rifle and put that. So whenever you do buy a card from the market, you place it at the top of your deck. So I'm going to put Lady J somewhere on this side. And then discard everything. It's not done. So that is basically our first turn. And then we flip this. All right. And then on the second turn, Turn sequence, right? So we then have to refill now the starter mission. So in the very first turn, you don't have the option to do that. But then now, since this is our first mission, we will now make this mission active. So that means we will then need to pull one complications as a part of it. So first, let's do a quick zoom on the mission. So this is a decode Cobra secret mission, starter mission. The Joes have intercepted a strange broadcast signal of unknown origin. They'll need to decode it before the transmissions ends. So, in this regards, you will then add to pull one complication and put this up front. That means whenever you will want to tackle this mission, you have to deal with the complication itself. And it looks like it has a special. It says here, 
place the token. Um, let, let, we need a token. Right? Let's get one. Come on, come on. Is that a hit token? Yes, we need to get the hit token. Oops. Is that a hit token? This one. Come on. So we need to hit the token three spaces above the thread marker. So one, two, three. And then it says, if the thread marker reaches the token, the mission immediately ends, fails basically, okay? And from here, we need five successes and we will need to use tech or tracker in order to complete that five successes. So let's put that day. Okay. And then that's it. We draw our second round. One, two, three, four, five. So we have service rifle, GI Joe, another one, and another one, as well as a discard. I think we can, we will need, to, we will be using this comms. It says choose one, discard one uncovered card. Sorry, it should be revealed immediately. Discard one uncovered card from the lineup. I want to remove the service rifle because it is just mucking up my view right and then it just gets revealed so that's used the marker and then we have two three four five five buying power uh would have been nice if we were able to afford that so this immediately actually just goes back to our hand but then i just want to be using that for the next turn as well for five where are we interested at? Oh, we can get uh, Tunnel Rat Joe, yes. I think that might be the case. So we were gonna pick up Tunnel Rat Joe from the front. And we didn't do any missions at the moment. I don't think we can because one, two, three, we're dealing with three for that one. Not really what we want to do this moment. So that is it. That is for our second turn. As such, we then complete with the uh, end of round, uh, active any penalties. There are no penalties ongoing. Star emissions, we already have one. It, we already did that. Place a token, the active ones, card effects, nothing on hand. Threat meter then goes up. I'm sorry, there's nothing on the trade meter because it's starting round only. Then the, we then trigger the number two, so it means it goes up. And then we flip. And we're back to our third turn now. So we go one, two, shuffle this. Okay. Put that there. One, two, three. Did we get something good here? Did we get tunnel rats. We had our Lady J up. Yeah, one, two, three. So two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that means we can promote Lady J this turn. Or do we want to get Duke? Uh, Duke is a recon and marksman. And our current is a tech or tracker. So I think we might need to upgrade Lady J next turn. Right, so we can get that sweet, sweet tech. Uh, do we want to do a mission test? So we can do two. Three, four, five, six. So we'll be basically dealing with six. And we have a reroll as well that we can use as a... We can try to do it. Uh, what is the failure cost? Is add plus one phase down, come together to the next turn. So it'll be basically three. Uh, I think we we can try to do that. So at least we get to do some things that rather than keep on waiting for it, like chugging on the next turn, because this will just come up again and basically we will lose this image immediately. Um sure. Okay. So in order to fight the mission, we are now declaring to fight this mission. So that means 
oh, actually, that's bad. That means if we, because in order to do a mission, we need to use a hangar, a vehicle, basically, right? And we have a max of four. So that means we have one, two, three, four. And this is basically nothing. Hmm. So we'll be rolling four dice for a five success. Uh, I think that might be a little under pushing it. So I guess for now, we will not be doing that. And just, um, upgrading Lady J, uh, to our level six cost. So two, three, four, five, six. So this is now trashed. Okay, and then this goes back to the power deck, and these are all those to my discard pile. And that's the end of turn. And there's nothing, there is no end of turn effects. Then skip to the next round. One, two, three, four, five. Lady J is here. We have a basic rifle, two Joes, as well as this card. I think we want to discard the other, so this rifle, right? We want to use this to discard this one. Let me get to draw another one. Detonation gear, okay. So three, four, five. So basically we will be having the same luck as before. Five out of five. I think we I think we we might want to do that because at the end of the round. This will all trigger and this will just go up by two. So that's not what we want to do, right? So put this down and this will all be a part of the mission using our transport. So we have three, four, five. Now we'll be using tech. Means we will be getting our dice tray and we will be using one, two, three, four, five. We want to be getting these ones to consider it as a hit. So first, we forgot, since we are dealing with the star mission, that means we will now flip the complication. Oof. So on the star mission, discard one Joe from this mission. That's bad. Means we will be discarding this. Means we only need we only have four dice now. One, two, three, four. So that's not bad. That's not good. So we need some two. That's a bit better. So we have three. And bank this. We will then be using this other card that we have, which is re-roll one dice. So let's see if that piece gives us a Critical, and it is just a four. <laughs> that means this mission failed, and whenever you finish a mission, the vamp just goes back to the uh, starting deck. And so, failure on failure. So this goes back to a discard pile here. On failure, each uh, sorry. Add one, so this one takes up one. So this is actually gone now. And add one face down completion to the next story mission. So we basically just want to add that here. And this is now considered a failure. First mission is a failure. And we have two, three, four, five buying power. Uh, so we want we want to maybe get the, the the halo jump of five. So we're putting that there. And these are all then discarded. Okay, and then we then do story missions. Nothing yet because it's not the start of the round. We only pull the mission to an active slot during that phase. Card effects, nothing. Threat meter goes up by one. 
because of that. And then plus one again because of this. And then we're gonna flip the next one. And that's it. Another round comes in. One, two, three. Shuffle this. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We have the ability jump. We have a side mission. We have Lady J again. And two Joes. So now, since it's the start of my phase, this is then is the active one. Let's put that there. And it is the find the tracking device. So to create an accurate signal transfer, Cobra needs to place a tracking device near the location. The Joes can't let this happen. As a vehicle icon, that means whenever you use the vehicle with the same type, you then get the vehicle's bonus. And it has two complications. And it adds another complication as well, put major bud into play. Let's put our discard file here at the top, somewhere in the side. Let's put in this. Put it there. Uh, so now we're going to look for Major Bud. Okay. You will be in the active slot. Let's put this as the active slot. And then it says at the start of each player's turn, there's one copper battalion on an uncovered card in the lineup that cost five. So now it's the start of my turn. We put one copper battalion that cost five. There's only one, just Duke. So we need to cover Duke up. And then that's it. We then put two complications. One, two. Okay, so we can, so we basically have three complications ongoing, right? I think we, we can use a tree for the tracker, right? Three, four, five, five, but then it has three complications. There, there isn't much Joe's here available at the moment. Or do we just remove major bud? Nah, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So we can use the halo jump as part of the mission, right? So this is in my hand. So this is the mission, lady jump. Lady J is there with three, four, five. We will be using the vamp on our mission. And then it says here, if there's a utility in play, in play this mission, plus one wild skill. So we will have one more wild skill and draw a card. So it will draw us one card. And we have another Joe for it. And we can include that as well. So we now have four. So we have three, four, five, six, seven. We are playing with seven to defeat four. So now let's do what we get. We have story missions, three roll, one hit. Okay. At the end of our turn, it has a one, another active one there. It means that at the end of our turn, uh, plus one. Okay. And then put major body to play, which is already in play. So this is then this just discarded. So the only thing that's messing with us is the reroll and the add up one plus turn. So this is this. So let's get our dice. So how many do you need? We have three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven to defeat four. So I think it's good enough. And we have two, four, six. Okay, it says here, we want to reroll one hit. So that means one of these will be rerolled. In any case, we have four. 
it doesn't actually matter, but sure, why not? And it's a one star now. So we got five. So this is now considered a success. This is discarded. And if we check the success minus one, tracker goes down by one. Each player draws one more card, so we get one more card. Okay, it's actually good. We put that in there. What we can do is we have so this since the mission is over, this is done. The they are all spent for the mission. And we have actually have Joe Rat, so we can use it to fight the side mission because in the end this will just goes up by one, which what we don't want to do. Uh, so we are doing that. So basically, Tunnel Rat will be fighting on his own using the vamp. And he will be using three explosives. It means we have three dice play with for a one success. We got our one success, which is very good. Which in turn is a good one because we have this diffuse. And if you defeated a side mission this turn, minus one, which is it is a side mission, so it means our tracker goes down by one. And this is not discarded. And that's it. Card goes back. So that. This is as well heated. When we complete it, we just put back to the discard pile. And now we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buying power. Would have been nice to. Well, they've just cleared that, right? Hmm. Retrospect, yes, that would have been nice. I think we are three, four, five, six, seven. In the end, what we will do is just discard and trash this because they said that if this card is part of a successful mission, you may destroy this card. So we will be destroying all three. So we're basically milling our deck and we, we just want to add um uh, so we have three, four, five, six, seven buying power. Ooh, I'll take this for three. Put this at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven. We bought for three. We have we have another four. To a teammate's hand. Uh, gear final cover of face down till the end. Uh, okay. You're not play. And uh, I don't want to destroy stuff, maybe. Proximity mine. Discard one reveal complication. Draw another complication resolve immediately. Hmm. Okay. I think let's, let's get the drone strike. That's another one in there. They're all then discarded. That's it for a turn. And then flip this and then start phase. This gets activated. So this is now our active mission. Rescue the scientist. The scientist responsible for the mass device technology should know how counteract its effects. But the scientist, it's in Cobra's clutches. Okay. So now as a plane, vehicle type, and no oh, complication. Okay, it's weird. It says, uh, okay, add complication to this mission equal to the number of players. Add complication to this mission equal to the number of players. The number of players. Okay, so one. And the end of each round, okay, each round after each turn, each player gets one Cobra Trooper. So now there's one complication for this. And four successes. Not, that's not bad. And get a new one. We get to draw our five cards now. One, two, three, four, five. We need to deal with that one, but first we need to deal with a major bud here. We have a drone strike.
drone strike, we have our rocket launcher, Jojo and another Joe. So this is not much what we can do. Ooh. This can be used at any time, as far as I know, M's. So we can actually just use it to discard this. So at least we'll only be dealing with four right now, right? Sure, you're using the rocket launcher and then basically discarding this, whatever that is. And I think we will be carrying this over for the next turn. So right now we have three buying power. We want to deal with this on, on its own. So basically we want to be um, I don't think so. So you have a two, four, four, five buying power, and we will just be buying jinx. Jinx in play, and these are all been discarded. Major Bud's not doing anything for card effects, sorry missions. Not much. Each player gains one Cobra Trooper. So the Cobra Trooper is then placed in your discard pile. And that's it. We then do the threat effects, which is one. And then another one for the end of round. That's it. Flip this again. We got our five. One, two, three, four. This is now shuffled. Yeah, when we do get the other one, we might not. I think we, since we are not getting any five plus here, here that's why we're not dealing with major blood, major blood at the moment. So one, two, three, four, we just need one. So we have, we have Jinx and four Joes. Comp starter as well. Uh, I'm not pulling this out, basically I just, Basically, we want to put back that in. I think we want to use a calm starter. Maybe just remove the gear, just something I don't like. Put that there and discard. Ooh, no cover girl. Okay. Explosives and tech, which might be really what we might want for the next one. So I think what we want to do is deal with this. So we have four martial arts. Ooh, actually we want to deal with major bud. That's what we want to do. So since this is that choose one Joe in this mission, their highest skill becomes wild. This is now wild. And we can deal with uh, major blood here. So at least he doesn't cover up cover girl. So this is a four, five, six, seven. And we will then be dealing with major blood using our vamp. So we have seven dice for four. Ouch. <laughs> well, that's a miss. There we go. Well, in any case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough. So we want to be buying muskrat for two. And What do we want? We want Tranquility Dart, Cover Battalion. Yeah, Cover Girl would be covered in that case. Maybe I should have just done this instead, right? For seven, yeah, in case we defeated it. Hmm. I guess that, that. <laughs> um, don't think I want to buy anything else. Uh, we want all the Joes, so there isn't much Joes coming out. 
want to start filtering this. Ooh, that's just fine. I didn't fix the midi line. Get that. And it's another gear. So they all go back here. And we get one, two, three, four, five. So this turns. Uh, no end of turn effects, just end of round effects. So now at the start of my turn, this gets covered. And that's that. So we have two. We have Muskrat for stealth. That. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? Do you want to just remove stuff? If we remove this, we have two, four. We only have four buying power. It doesn't really matter, right? Roll five dice for each roll plus one hit this mission. Oh, okay. Maybe we do carry over muskrats. Carry over muskrat for the next turn, even though she's a, he's a two and Basically, this is a wrong gunner turn because we can't do much. We can buy for four. We can buy for four. Ooh, to get the inspiration, the utility. And then that's it. Activate any penalties, nothing yet. Story mission. Uh, yes, we do get another Cobra Trooper in our hand. Uh, Tread Beater goes up by one. And then plus one again from here. Now flips back. It's now our turn. There are no five plus, so we can't put that one, two, three, four, five. We will get something good in here. We get this. Oh. That's active. It will jump. Okay. This is good. We can use the inspiration. It says each player who reveals a leader from their hand draws one card. We'll be drawing one extra card. And I think we might want to start dealing with this now. Because this one keeps on adding stuff for us. Okay, so what do we want to do? First, we have track, track or tracker. We have explosives and recon. Which nothing really matches this one. Hmm. There's a utility based mission, okay, which is this, is this one. Means we get plus one wild skill and draw one card. So it means we shuffle this up. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have the other Joe as well, which is stealth. We can actually use that, right? He goes into play. So three. Four, five, six because of the wild skill. And then so this card. Let's use this. Maybe this card, this one. We want that. We just cool the gear. Oh, I like that. Draws us cards. Okay, so but we need to deal with Major Bud, I think. So let's deal with Major Bud first. Um, oh, no, 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 we can do this because if we do win, we draw two cards, which is something that we can deal with Major Bud maybe. So what we want 
is using stealth. Three, four, and five, right? That one. And I think he will just deal with one of the cover battalions later. So five for four is what we're looking for. I think that might be the case. Because this just adds one extra card, which is basically basically useless. So these are basically using the vamp. Two of them. Five for four. We don't even have any rerolls with our hands. Let's do this. <laughs> the dice are not good in my favor. So we fail basically. So if we do fail, plus two, one, two. Each player gains one Cobra Trooper, so we will gain another Cobra Trooper in our, in our hand. And this is now on our failure. Failure counter. Hmm. That's not what we want. Let's put it maybe here. Whew. Okay, so we have two failures now. This goes back. They are spent. This is spent. This is spent. I think we will then basically use Tunnel Rat to reveal who do we want? Two, four, five, six, seven. Who do we prefer? Duke, Recon, or Marksman, or Explosive and Tech? I think we would want. Yeah, sure. Let's get Cover Girl. So he will be using three explosives to deal with that. Come on, give me two hits. <laughs> okay, so that means it's a no. And instead, we will just be buying this scoop gear. So we have two, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. So we bought 5 already. We have 6 remaining. And I think we will be getting this. 2, 4. And that's it. These are then go back. No successes. Uh, we are almost losing. <laughs> Good, bad for us. This, you know, just discards after. Okay. And then we flip, That's start of our phase, this gets activated. So it's a snake robot attack. Cover left, an acid trap for Joe, system neutralizer, armed cooking equipment, emerge from the walls of the caverns to vaporize the team, okay? So at the end of each player's turn, they gain one Cobra Trooper. Okay, that's bad. It's each player's turn at the end of the round. So now it has two complications, put that here. Put back the complications there. Okay, and that's six tech and stealth. Uh, there are no more than five. So one, two, three, four, five. What do we have? 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 A bunch of Joes here. So what we do is we use this. Target there draws two cards, which is us. One, two. It's not spent. And we have basic rifle. And another one. There isn't much Joe what we have here. So I think we can buy it. We can at least try to defeat it, right? So we use this cover fire. It's not spent. Defeat one Cobra Battalion from the lineup. So this is now gone. Goes back. And then 
We can try to defeat this, I think. So we have two. So we will use the service driver as part of the side mission. We now have plus one wild skill, so we'll be dealing three dice for a result of two. Oh my god. <laughs> the dice are not good with us, so that means it's a failure again. Nothing happens. In the end, we will be buying cover girl two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Put that there. You get Flower Girl. Enjoy this. Oof. That's too stealth. We actually do want that. In the end of each turn, we gain one Combat Trooper. This goes back there again. Go on, one, two, three, four, five. Get a cover girl. Explosives and tech is good for us. Cover trooper just goes here. GI, Jinx. And the gear. Oof. Okay. Uh, what do we have? We have four and five and six. So basically six for six. And we have two complications, but we will be resolving another one. Hmm. I think what we can do is even we can't defeat Major Bud because it's war marksman in four vehicles. I think we have to we have to do it right. Because we already have cover girl with us coming in. So I think we need to do it. So we will be using uh oh explosive and stuff. Second step. Uh, I think we need to. Oh, it's plus two though. That means we might be losing stuff. Now. Okay, what we want is to just defeat the Cobra Battalion, I think. Yeah, so we will be doing the Cobra Battalion for. Four. Yes. Four, five, six. Using six to defeat two. Seems to be good. Finally. Okay, we got four results of so this Cobra Battalion is gone. And we will be buying Duke because of that. Three, four, five, six, seven. This goes back here, and that's our turn. Yeah, one, two, shuffle this first. Deck is getting real thick now. Where's the one that removes stuff from your hands? Did I just remove that? I think I have it. One, two, three, four, five. And then story missions. And then of each player uh, gain one Cobra Trooper. Card effects. This just goes back. Nothing. No up to six. Threat meter. We get a combat battalion. That's that on the left. And then we put the tread up. Now, now it's red. Now it's danger time. So we get, okay. 
at Lady J. Tech, which is good. At Stealth. Okay, that means we can add them up. We have a recon and a marksman. And a reroll one die. So I think we can do this. So I think we first use the cover fire. Sorry, this should be flipped. Use the cover fire to defeat one cover battalion. So it is now gone. And we want to deal with this using tech and stealth. So six already. And then there is a utility in play in this mission. Plus one wild skill, okay. And one draw card. And the draw card is another utility. And we want to use that utility as well. Each player who reveals a leader, draw one from their hand. We draw another one. We have a leader. It's another gear. Okay, that's good. That's something that we can do. Now the question is add something. Do we include uh, Duke? I think we include Duke. So now, uh, he is basically three, six, seven. Oh, we have seven dice only. So we have eight dice. So we're maxing the dice out, including Duke. It still makes a max. So now we will be dealing with the snake robot attack. What we want is to flip this first. Okay, at the end of your turn, plus one. And at another one at the end of your turn, plus one. So that really maxing the thing, right? But that means we need to deal with that immediately or else we lose. So we will be using the discard one complicated attached to this story mission using this. I think we will be discarding this. And that is it. We have three, six, seven, eight. Eight dice for a result of six, two, four. Please be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> so that means this. Snake robot attack is now defeated, and we'll be adding minus two. So this goes at one, two. Let's put this in a success file. And I think we can carry this over as a reroll. Means this one goes up by one, right? To want anything from the, let's get one of the vehicles, I think, right? Just in case something matches up. Especially with that, buying this for four, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have six more, just more service rifles. I think we get the uh, night fishing goggles. These are gone now. And at the end of our turn, plus one. And that's it. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's get over to us. Start of our face. Next mission comes up. This one says the Joes surrender. The eyes of the world are on the Joes as they are forced to negotiate a timeline for surrender. Will they bend the international pressure or stand up and refuse? Okay. He is still always in play. That already triggered. At the end of each round, 
plus one each round. Okay, if there is no leader on this mission, plus three difficulty. Okay, let's. And then we put two complications as well. So now we will get this once, shuffle them. Okay, come on. Get one more. Back. Whew, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Oof, not much. We can put this in a hanger now. So I think we use this. We spent this one. Target player draws two cards. Scuba gear. Yeah, because that that indicates that you can use it anytime, as far as I know. Let me double check that phonography. I'm doing it right. Well, at least we're doing it wrong then. The M symbol, each card can be played during a mission, at any time during mission, even and especially after the dice have been rolled. And any player who has these one of them should may play any number of difficulty gear, so I will card. So, so we need to actually start the mission first to do that, right? Oh, okay, so we need to start the mission first. Oh, and do the discard one revealed. This is already a revealed complication. We are going to discard it, so we want we don't want that to go up, and then we need to solve another one, which is story missions reroll one hit. means this will be attached to this one, right? We will get this. I think we want to get this one instead, carried over for the next turn, There's, since we don't have much Joes here. And that is our round. End of round. Sorry, missions. Much. It doesn't have five. At the end of each round, plus one. Okay, and then card effects, nothing. Threat meter, nothing. And then plus one. We flip. I think we're going to lose this. So one, two, three, four, and five. Because we are almost up to the end, we have to defeat this now. We have a GI Joe, we have a tunnel rat, we have another side mission. We have another GI Joe, Comp Starter. We use the Comp Starter to remove something. Uh, what do I want to remove? Let's remove the service basic rifle. Oh, another one. Okay, so now first, this goes back into our play area we want since we are on the red now red status we draw two cards let's use that first we spent one two give me leader so i can deal with this ah cover go it's not leader so it'll be six we don't have a recon as well so we have two Okay, wait, I think we can do something about that. So first, what we want is for maybe these two starter Joes. Oh, wait, the high skill becomes wild. Hmm. So we'll be using the, the drone. The high skill will be wild, which is four. And six, seven, four, five, six, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight means we're using all of them. And we will include this on the mission, the gear. So it's four of them, means we'll be using the vamp 
for the ride. And because of this, target player draws two cards. We want to draw two more cards. One, two. Okay, we have a utility. And defeat a side mission. This is useless for us. Okay, so B using four. Cover girl, five, six for recon, six, seven, eight. So we'll be using all dice to have a result of six. Getting something good. Two, four, six, eight. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Clutch, 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 clutch. So, oh, sorry. It's a minute. Forgot the complications. The end of your turn, plus one. Okay. And then story missions, plus one difficulty, which is uh, what we have. I didn't touch. So it means this is a seven now. So this is two, four, six. <laughs> Reroll one hit. Okay. So we will be rerolling this. And uh, if we lose this, we lose this, I think. <laughs> Do we have anything that removes the complication? No, I don't. Oh my god. Oh. We were not lucky with the dice, so that means we actually failed this. This goes plus one, right? Put Baroness into play. This is now on our failure again. Baroness comes in. At the end of your turn, plus one, and boom. <laughs> so it doesn't matter even that the Baroness came or not. Oh. So I guess that's our first playthrough of mission one. Didn't go well. Uh, we will try that again. We have to try that again. Sometime. Whew. Thank you for joining. Uh, now I'm going to do some cleanup. And that's it. Bye bye. Uh, this is the best part thing is the cleanup. Applications. <laughs> Their leader, Major Bud, or the trooper, another complication. There. We have three failures and two successes. Uh, there. Okay. Three, six ones. Starters. Starter. Starter. Start. J. Duke. The trooper. There. Think starter. Call the trooper. Basically, just there. And then start the cards. We have this one. The Duke stuff, maybe we should do that there. Wrong amp. Patience. Patience. Astral, don't forget, don't forget the complications with the complications. 